Today on Hack Tip, we're talking about VI, and this episode of Hack Tip is brought to you by Atlassian. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Shannon Morris, and today we are talking VI. VI is a text editor similar to Gedit or Nano, but it is somewhat abstract and it's kind of hard to grasp. Trust me, when I first started using VI, I was a little confused, and yes, VI is the correct pronunciation by the creator. Now, while Gedit and Nano can be used on graphical user interfaces, VI can be used without a GUI for servers that don't necessarily have that capability. VI gets its name because it's a, a visual editor as opposed to a, just a line editor. Uh, most distros on Linux come with VI or Vim, which is VI improved. Now, to log into your VI, VI, all you have to type is VI into your terminal, like this. So in my example, you can see that I have Vim, VI Improved, installed on Linux Ubuntu. Uh, to quit, all you have to do is type colon Q or colon Q exclamation mark. Either of those will work for my operating system. However, yours might have one or the other working for it. Uh, if you made changes that you don't want to save, all you have to type is that colon Q or colon Q exclamation if you want to pass VI entry to a text file, type VI and then make up your text file. So in my example, I'm going to use VI example.txt. Now, as you can see, I am writing to a new text file called example.txt. The mode that you start in is called command mode which means that many keys on your keyboard can control Vim or VI as commands and won't give you the normal output, output of a keyboard. So for example, that Q would quit instead of just typing Q. Now if you want to type something, first you use the command I for insert and then you can do your typing. So in my example, I could type in I hack five rules like that, and it'll actually be saved onto my text file as Hack5 Rules. Once you are done editing a VI doc, you can save by hitting colon W. Also in regular command mode, L, H, J, K, and the arrow keys will move you around. So for example, arrow keys, down and up, and the same things will happen with K, L, and J, and all of those. A few other things to keep in mind with other moves that you want to do in that default mode, which is called normal mode in VI. Uh, you can also move around with the number 0, shift 4, or shift 6, W, B, G, and then page up and page down. So for my example in this, I can write a bunch of stuff to VI and then use these controls to move around in normal mode. So page up and page down is going to page up and page down, arrow keys again, shift 4, shift 6, W, B, and number zero. So basically, these are going to let you jump around in your text document to different places. For example, one thing that I did was hit B, which is going to take it to the end of a line. Another one was W, which takes it to the beginning of the next line, etc., etc. So just test out all of those different commands so that you can fully understand what each of them does whenever you're in normal mode. Now, you can also use U to undo or you can use a capital A to append a line, or a lowercase zero or an uppercase zero to add a new line. And then you have a capital X that can delete a character wherever the cursor is, and then DD will delete the current line. DW, DG, those will all work too with the comparable commands. So you would just add D to the beginning of whatever command that you wanna use. So for example, that DG that I just did, that deleted the line to the end of file, while G by itself goes to the last line of the file. Now anytime you use D for delete, it actually just cuts your text into a clipboard, so then you can paste it back with P. The Y command can be used kind of like the D command uh, to get copying instead of deleting. Lastly, I also wanted to share capital J, uh, which is basically going to let you append two lines together. So for example, if I want to append Kirby Rocks and watch all the things, I hit capital J and it'll append those two lines together. Now we're going to take a quick break because I know that was a lot of information. Feel free to reverse and listen back through it again if you need to. But 
We will be right back with more information about VI right after this break. Today, nearly anything is possible, and if we can dream it, teams can build it. So how do you bring everyone together to create what's next? The solution? Teaming up with Atlassian, the makers of collaboration software that lets teams work and communicate better together. You can assign, track, and manage tasks for any project, no matter how complex. That's the clarity of Jira. Create and share content, organize results, and bring team members up to speed with the flexibility of Confluence. Instant message or video chat with your team from any device with the freedom of HipChat, and test, review, and manage code in real time. That's the power of Bitbucket. You know that we do a lot of coding around here. I've used Bitbucket to share code snippets with my coworkers and get their feedback so that I can make better segments for you guys whenever I'm learning new coding languages. You can visit Atlassian.com to learn more and see how Jira, Confluence, HipChat, and Bitbucket give your team everything you need to organize, discuss, and complete shared work. Atlassian, helping teams everywhere team up to create what's next. Atlassian.com. We're back with more VI, so let's get to searching. You can actually search in VI, which is kind of like you would any other Word document, but instead of using Control F, like you would on the internet or in a document, you just type F. So for this example, I'm on the first line and I'm gonna move all the way to the beginning. You do have to be on the right line that you wanna search. So I'm gonna type F, K, F, R, FL, and so on and so forth. You can continue searching for that same thing using the semicolon. If you wanna search for a word, you can type forward slash and then your word and hit enter. So I'll type in forward slash Kirby with a capital K and then hit enter and it'll take me to the beginning of Kirby. Type N and that will go to the next word found. In this example, I only wrote Kirby once, so it's not going to find any additional Kirby's. Now for search and replace, you can use the colon for an X command. This is the same thing that we use for colon Q for quit and colon W for write. And then you type the line with something you would like to replace. So for example, if I wanted to replace the first line, which is a lowercase h in hack five to an uppercase h in hack five, I would use a forward slash H hack five with lowercase and then forward slash capital H in hack five to find hack five and then replace it with that uppercase H in hack five because it is a proper noun. Now if VI or VI asks you for confirmation, you can choose Y for yes, N for skip, A for all, or Q for quit. One for just once and then quit, and then control E or control Y for scrolling up and scrolling down. Now for editing more than just one file, you can type vi file onetxt for one file or type vi file onetxt file two.txt. So this is very similar to any other command that you use in the Linux terminal where you can edit two different text documents at once. So you just stick them right next to each other and it'll hold them in little buffer spaces for you to edit. Now if you want to switch between vi open files, which I only have one file here, but I'll show you the command, you'll first escape to get back into your regular mode, your uh, command mode, and then type colon N or colon capital N. Now if you type colon E alternatively, this will open a file in VI next to the current one that is open instead of just closing one and opening the other. You can copy a whole line of information from one file to another with either YY or P commands again. Now lastly, if you want to stick a whole file into your second text document, first you would want to open and view that second file in VI and then type colon R file 2txt after you have stuck your cursor wherever you want the file 2 to appear. So now that you know Vi, or at least you know a little bit about Vi to get around, you can exit with ZZ or you can exit with colon Q uh, to just save and exit. Uh, colon WQ to save and quit or colon W and then write your new name .txt to write a new name for that file that you wanna say. Whew, that was a lot of information. I know it was, VI is very confusing. It's not like gedit at all, <laughs> but you can let me know what you think. And if you want me to go over any other commands in VI as well in the future, uh, send me a comment below or you can email us tips at hack5.org. And make sure to check out Hack5 for more great stuff just like this. We just got back from DEF CON by the way. It was a lot of fun and we got lots of interviews, so definitely check those out. And of course, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We just hit 200 50k subscribers on YouTube. I'm super, super happy and excited about that, but I want to see where we can go from here. With that, I am Shannon Morse, and I am reminding you to trust your technolust. <laughs>